Hello, in this lecture we are going to discuss special matrices. So let's begin. So here we have got functions to create special matrices. So the first one is zeros that creates n by m matrix of zeros and here we have got the example and the second function that creates n by n matrix here we have to define number of rows and columns and in the example you can see 2 is number of row and 3 is the number of columns so we can use either this function or this according to our need the third one is ones that creates m by matrix of ones and another one is m by n matrix this function will create m by n matrix here we have to define number of rows and columns the next function is diag a which extracts the diagonal element of matrix a and here in the example you can see first the matrix a is defined and then this function is used that extracts the diagonal elements here in the second example you can see that we have defined only three elements which is a simple row matrix and after defining this type of matrix if we use the diagonal function which is diag a it will result in creating a diagonal matrix with non-zero elements in the diagonal and all other elements will be zero so you can use this function in two ways it can be used to extract the diagonal element or it can also be used for making a matrix the next function is flip lr which flips a matrix like a mirror image and here is an example the matrix a is defined and then after using the flip lr it has mirrored this matrix the next function is flip ud which flips a matrix vertically and here is the example and the last function we have already discussed in the previous lecture which is magic m that creates n by n matrix of random elements so here are some special functions to create special matrices and here we have got simple quotients exercise quotients which we have to perform and in these quotients you have to make matrices of zeros and ones and here you can see in question number six you have to use the diagonal function to create a matrix whose diagonal element is one two three so first we have to define a simple vector or single row matrix with elements one two three then you have to use diag function that will create a diagonal matrices with non-zero elements in the diagonal and all other elements will be zero in question seven you have to create 10 by 10 matrix using magic function then you have to extract the diagonal from the matrix in part b you have to extract the diagonal that runs from lower left to upper right this part of the question is also very simple but i am going to show you that how you can perform and then confirm that the sums of rows and columns and diagonals are same which i think it will not because we are going to create a random matrix having random elements using this magic function so how to perform part b let's see so first you have to define a variable and using a magic function i have to create a random matrix of 10 by 10 and here we have created now the question asks that you have to extract the diagonal elements from lower left to upper right by default if i use the diag function it will extract the elements from upper left to lower right for example i show you and here you can see it has extracted the diagonal elements of matrix a now it is asked that you have to extract the elements the diagonal elements from lower left to upper right for that you can use the philip function which is philip ud and i will enter the matrix a and 
before this function I will define another variable so that so that this matrix will save in the variable C and now you can see that the lower left element is moved at the top and similarly all the elements that were at the bottom are moved at the top now you can use this dike function and here in this way we can extract the diagonal elements so that's it and i hope you have understood that how you can use the special functions to form or to create special matrices so that's it and see you in the next one